Okay, Deerfield Conservation Commission. It's March 23rd, 2017. Members present, Steve Barrett. Ben Burn. Louis Mission. Brian Dana. And now back to where we were. So we have a uh, request for determination of applicability submitted by Mark Whiteman and Dan Nietzsche for parcel map 88 lot 1 and upper road just north of the, the bridge going over by Stillwater. So basically, if you'd like to review that, you two can take a quick look and I'll fill you in. What I had done is went over and looked at it and called Mark Stinson down at DEP and we went over it pretty much soup to nuts and basically he felt that because of the delineation, the scale, he felt it was much, we really couldn't give you the boundaries. Okay, that's fine. But he did feel that looking at the GIS maps, that it's roughly correct. Yeah, I mean, I scaled it off on GIS, but that's fine. Just so that Mark knows and you guys know that there is riverfront there, what, how much there is would be uh, would probably be necessary to fine tune if someone wants to get close to oh, it. Introduce yourself. Oh, Dan Nitsche, GZA. Everybody knows Mark. Whiteman. Mark Whiteman. Representing Mark. I'm Whiteman. not sure that's, <laughs> that's not a good thing. <laughs> Thank you, Your Eminence. <laughs> so we do we do have um, the next page. Lou, you'll see that there's a natural oh. heritage in the same area as the as the uh, oh, okay. yeah 200 foot riverfront area. But it's so narrow down there that I don't see any use. I don't see me getting in that area anyway, so we're fine with just it being the area, not the boundary. We'll change, yeah. if you want to just change that on the first sheet, then, done. then we're fine. Okay, great, that's fine. Yeah. And, and Bach didn't have a problem with that. He did have a problem with boundary. Okay. Yeah. So no, by changing the fine. area, it allows us to make a ruling this evening. Right. right. So. Okay. You, you caught what he was saying. Stinson is suggesting that because the map is so small that it's difficult no, to it really tell. No, it wasn't a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> it, really, it really wasn't. I have met him before, so I'll rephrase. Uh, stated <laughs> that because the map is so small that he, you know, there's no determination as to exactly where that wetlands or uh, 200 foot book riverfront area is or the NHESP actually goes to. So if I ever had wanted to develop down that area, then we would go back Get it. I have a survey of it. We'd have it surveyed on there and show you exactly where it is and get mm -hmm. a boundary at that point. But I don't find, feel it's necessary. So we're fine with having it as the area instead. Yeah. Hey. Thanks, hey. Thanks. There's one more chair over there if you want to pile in. Let's see. Let's push them all around. <clears throat> And you guys probably know the location. It's an old sand pit gravel old bank. Gravel pit yeah. right north of but it's dry as yet. Yeah. <laughs> and Steve actually toured it as well. Yeah, and there was there's probably a little bit less snow cover when I looked at because I looked at it before yeah. the storm. And um, even in pockets where they've done some barum, it, it got some depressions in places. There's no wetland plants anywhere on that property. And even within a hundred feet, for what I could see from his land, there's no wetland areas there. Okay, no, I, I'm familiar with the area and yep. actually rolled by it yesterday. It wasn't even, didn't know that's where we were talking about before that. It was in the morning and, uh, you know, I've always, you know, noticed it. And then when it says, I said, <coughs> which one is it? I said, it can't be one. there. There's nothing. There's no, there is <laughs> no, there. There shouldn't be anything there. <laughs> it's a gravel pit. It's going to drain. It's on a hill. Exactly. Yeah. 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 There's a few of those left these days where you can actually find nice, clean, dry soils, especially in Deerfield, in that area. Yeah. Sand Gully, places of that fashion. But. So, gentlemen, are we. So, what would you like us to do? I guess you'll take a vote and give me the determination when you have the copy of the paper. Yep. And we agree that we're changing it to boundary. Do you want to make a. Do you want to make a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you can't make a motion, Mark. <laughs> This is my meeting. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice effort, though, Mark. <laughs> so we can't really, we can't sign off because we don't have the form. But Mark had indicated that he had no problem with us giving you negative determination, a number one. 
No. No, it's a positive. It's in this positive. case, the positive is a good thing because yes. you're you're rec you're agreeing that the bound yes. that the area, area, not the boundary, the area is under your jurisdiction. Yep. Right. So. So that being said, I make motion we get the positive determination. All second. Aye. 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 All right, here we go. Thank positive, you, gentlemen. Positive, positive number one. Number one, yep. It'll take longer to get out of the room. <laughs> Unless you want to stay. <laughs> no, but thank you for the offer. <laughs> Can't do enough for you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks again. Have a good night. Okay, take care, Mark. Thank you. All right, let's... Great. One down. So, we also have in front of us tonight a request for determination of applicability submitted by Ty and Bond on behalf of Deerfield Academy, installation of a roof over the first, I believe, six tennis courts. So, having read through, I will now ask you to address the board as to background, project, etc. Et okay. Um, if you could introduce yourself for the... Sure, Jessica Roberts, Time Bond, wetland scientist. Chuck Croce, uh, project manager, Time Bond. Oh. Jeff Gale, here. All right, thank you. So Deerfield Academy submitted this um, RDA for the installation of roof columns and a metal roof over six of the tennis courts. There are 18 courts currently on the South Athletic Fields. And everything that we're proposing in this RDA was already approved in 2001 in an NOI that uh, DEP issued a superseding order of conditions for. And that order of conditions expired in 2005. And the reason we're coming back to you is that in that NOI, it said, in the future, DA would like to install roof columns and a metal roof on existing foundations. There are already foundations in place for these roof columns that were done back in 2001. So the work is all within bordering land subject to flooding. There's no excavation, no change in drainage. We have a stormwater report, uh, no new impervious area, no, new, um, uh, no, in no change in the drainage. How are you um, handling the roof drains? Uh, no roof drains. It's going to drain nope. off naturally. Just sheet flow off the edge of the, of the roof. Okay, well that's still a change other than what, what's there. Yes. So you have to control no the erosion, increase. that oh. type of thing, if you're on the edges or... And actually those, these are the, the columns that, they're already built, and they're actually built into the tennis court right now, and they have a little piece of wood over them. So the, the, uh, the, the canopy would, would, would go over these six courts, and it would actually drain off here and hit the existing tennis court. So it hit the court, hit the court, and it would drain in the exact same fashion off the court and into the existing swales. So in this case, there's really there's no erosion. It actually falls off and hits the existing court. And on this side as well, the, the footings are in a little bit from the very edge of the court. So it would hit the edge and then drain off in the same fashion. So it's, it's still a... a will operate in a very similar fashion as it does today. So, so that the roof is going to be up above the existing paved area. Okay, so you got the columns, it looks like the columns are right on the edge of the blacktop there. On this side? Yeah. It's close to the edge of the blacktop. And you're going to have close. the roof has got to be at least to where the columns are. Yeah, it's going to so be... I don't see where the water is going to drop down on blacktop or on the court. I don't, I don't think it is the intent to have the uh, overhang past the court. I think it's the intent to have the arches online with the existing paved area. How much of a, uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. How much of an area is it from the the foundation, the post there, the post foundation, oh, oh, over, uh, over. To, to the edge of the blacktop or the court? It's probably, I looked at it today, it's probably like six inches. It is a small area. Okay, so the roof is still gonna, the water is gonna be coming off, and it's yeah, not going. It's not going yeah, to hit oh, yeah. that. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A very I, minimal area of blacktop. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. what I'm saying. It's it's, it, and if it's black. a downpour, yes. it's going to be 
So that's why I was just. Yes, sorry. I, how are you I, controlling, or what about the erosion on the off the edge there? We weren't. What is there? We weren't really proposing anything different here. It, it's a it's a grass mode maintained area, and I don't think it's going to cause any significant. Okay, well, that's a part of the Yeah. 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 There's oh, and there, yeah, you can see there are there are rows of arborvitae. Okay. No, I just around the court. Yeah, I'll just wonder what that edge is gonna. Yeah. What's there right now? Grass in the middle. Well, grass and arborvitae. <coughs> no, but I mean in the down the center. No, it's that's the uh, tennis tennis court. Yeah, this is all paved. <laughs> and then um, they talked about it back. Uh, okay. But they went with the uh, the court surface. Yeah, this is all paved, and this is this is our, this is our this question. question. They're pretty mature. On this side, it's grass with arborvitae. Yeah. And all of this work that you're proposing was covered in the original 2001 right. notice of so intent. So we even did comp storage and calculations in that 2001 NOI. Based on? Based on the, this design that we're proposing now that, it, that took into account the roof columns and the roof. Um, and the comp flood storage for that project was done and, and a certificate of compliance was already issued. For yes, that, I've seen that in the file. Seven. So that was done. The comp storage is further out in the South Athletic Fields, closer to Eagle Brook. As in Eagle Brook, the, the waterway. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, which way is most of the court, or is it all the court pitching? They pitch like this, and then the, yeah, they, it, it's crowned in the center and pitched out to the side to these swales on the side. One forty, one forty, and then so high point right down the center. Okay, so it splits it. And this is the parking area, existing parking area. So what do you think, Brian? Looks good. Man. I mean, viewed it and been through it before. So. Yep. Yeah. And we've been there a million times, so a site visit seemed to be pretty redundant. All the actual digging in is done. It's done. There's really no, there's no there there. And again, I don't have the folks <coughs> sign off tonight. Okay. They were not, unfortunately, prepared. Um, so we will get your make positive determination that there is no yep. impact. So I think it would be a negative two. Yes. That we're in, we're in BLSF, but but it's not going to impact. Gonna affect, no, yeah. I think actually, what is the? You would actually check me on that though. I wrote it down somewhere. Yes. <laughs> you think I like take out my reading glasses? Yes. Negative two termination indicating the work described in the request is within an area subject to protection under the act, but will not remove, fill, dredge, or alter that area. So that will give us a negative number two. So what I will do is get the forms printed up and then track everybody down. We'll get them signed off on them, and okay. then we'll get copies out. Probably won't be till first of the week. Okay. So, and then we also have our 10-day field period if anybody does not particularly enamored of our decision. Okay. So that's where we are. Great. So I'll make a motion to give negative number two. I'll say. Aye. 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 So we're good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. And right, thanks, yep. Thank you. So the third thing we had on our agenda was the self storage facility on five and ten. But because of the, um, the extent of the work that was originally proposed when we looked at it, and it was kind of like, no, nah, this isn't really going to fly. Um, they did hire Ward Smith. And ba basically, he sent a letter over the other day. Says, Dear Mr. Barrett, on behalf of the applicant, please withdraw the request for determina uh, determination of appli applicability for the above reference site. Based on my delineation of the wetlands, 
classes. <laughs> ah, oh, very good. <laughs> oh, look, there's words. <laughs> And on the adjacent to the property, we are going to file a notice of intent for the project as soon as the wetland flags have been surveyed and a suitable site plan has been engineered. So, sincerely, Ward W. Smith, Wendell Wetland Services. So, Louie and I went out and did a quick walk through the other day, and we realized the area up by the edge of the road is they, it's less than 5,000 square feet of, I don't know if you call it wetlands, but close enough. And storage, yeah. What they want to do is storage. they want to fill that and they can't do it without filing a notice of intent. That's, it, that trips the, the regulation right off the bat. So that being the case, when Ward talked to Stinson, it was just became a no-brainer to withdraw that, that whole request for determination of applicability. So we are out of the woods on that. So that being done, Add this to the file. We have in front of us a request for comments. Um, I'll pass it around. You can take a look. Brian Atheron of 189 High Street, Greenfield, requests a special <coughs> permit for the change of use to operate an RV repair shop at 707 Greenfield Road in Deerfield, Mass. Where's, where's that? That's right up at the end of, uh, up towards the cheap side. Got an antique shop there or something, is that, you know, just before the walk, is that what you're? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I can tell you. It's good to have young people on the board. Yeah, I'd, I'd still be turning mine on. <laughs> I'd have to go get mine out of the truck. I think it's here. <laughs> it's... It's putting it right across from Lemoore's. Yeah, somewhere. Uh, probably oh. that uh, that uh, yeah, other place there. Oh uh, yeah. That shed right next to. Yep. The, you got the hairdress right next to Christopher's. And Christopher's. Go. Then you get that shed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Christopher's. I think is got a for, uh, for sale sign or did like that. I don't know. About oh, okay. That. Yeah, I saw somebody looking at that. That's right. Yeah. A few yeah, weeks ago. A few weeks ago. Had some for sale signs there. I think they're oh, going did to. Did it? I think our official comment will be what our comment normally is, is we have no real comment. I mean, we're out there for the building and when they built it. So. Yep. So, <coughs> Conservation Commission comment and proposal is no comment. being part of the Deerfield River Watershed Association. And this is a letter from Annalee Wolf from Four Mountain Road regarding the 72 unit condominium complex that's proposed for Sugarloaf Street. Uh, it is basically asking us or it's to the Agricultural Commission, Forest Wardens, CPC, Historical Commission, Recreation Committee, Open Space Committee, CONCOM, Cultural Council, and the Tree Warden. Um, basically in opposition of the entire thing, if you'd like to review. So, being that that did come before us, I personally have no comment on it, so.
Now, do you have anything to do with kind of stuff like this for work? You know, with the watersheds or anything like that? No, just... No, that's not even. NRCS. Did everybody get copies of the minutes? Nope. Controversy? <coughs> Controversy. Well, there's always it, no matter what. Just, yeah. Just that what what number is for and what number is against. Yeah, and I think it is what it is. We'll see what happens. And we have our minutes to review. Look okay. I wasn't in attendance. So. Yeah, I figured you'd want to look at it. Oh, I know. I want to look at them, but I just I don't think I can prove them. I don't believe it's allowed, no. <laughs> no, yep, look good. Okay, I'll uh, make a motion that we accept the minutes as presented. Second. Aye. 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 Minutes done. So, and there be any other business? You want something to let me know? Yeah, I'll say. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And it does not look like there's anything else on the agenda that came up unexpectedly or anybody here. So I would make a motion that we set our next meeting. Do you have your phone? We get 4:27. Thank you very much. Efficient. Way ahead of it. Way ahead. You sure? You, you could always be chair. <laughs> Had the time. <laughs> yeah, it is time consuming. I will grant you that. So I'm going to make a motion. We adjourn. Second. Second. Aye. Aye. Aye.